Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about IELTS speaking part 1. Our topic is going to be tourism. Tourism. In the previous lesson, I uploaded a video about IELTS speaking part 3 on the topic of tourism. In this lesson, we are going to look at some part one questions. So if you want to know the part three questions about tourism, then have a look at my previous video. Once you have watched both videos on part one and part three, then you should be able to answer any question that the examiner is going to ask you about tourism. But before we begin this lesson, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. Remember I upload videos about IELTS speaking, part 1, part 2 and part 3. Also IELTS writing, part uh, task 1 and task 2. I also upload videos on grammar, vocabulary, and how to speak English in different situations. So once you have watched this video, have a look at the rest of my videos in my channel and I can guarantee you that you will find at least five videos that are going to be so helpful in improving your level of English. Let's begin our lesson by looking at question one. Which country would you like to visit as a tourist? Which country would you like to visit as a tourist? In this question, the examiner wants you to identify a country that you would really like to visit as a tourist. Be very careful because this question is about you identifying a country that you would like to visit as a tourist not to go and study there or to work there no as a tourist now you can answer this question by saying i would really like to visit mauritius because they have beautiful sandy beaches a wide variety of tasty food and i have heard that the locals are very friendly as well as hospitable. I would really like to visit Mauritius because they have beautiful sandy beaches, a wide variety of tasty food and I have heard that the locals are very friendly as well as hospitable. Now in that answer, I did not just identify the country. I identified the country and then I gave the examiner some reasons why I would like to visit that country. Remember for each question, provide elaborate details. In my sample answer one, I have identified the country that I would like to visit and that is Mauritius and then I gave the examiner some reasons as to why I would like to visit that country. I actually have about four reasons. Reason number one, they have beautiful sandy beaches. Two, they have a wide variety of tasty food. Three, the locals are very friendly and hospitable. All those ideas that I had, I have joined them together using the linking words in red. Linking words because and as well as. The importance of using those linking words is that they also give you an opportunity to use complex sentences. Remember, if you're aiming for a band 8 and a band 9, you're expected to use a lot of complex sentences in your answers. A complex sentence has more than three verbs. And most of the times in a complex sentence, you will find you have two or more linking words. 
linking words such as because and as well as. Let's move on to question two. Is your country popular with tourists? Is your country popular with tourists? In this question, the examiner wants you to tell him or her whether a lot of tourists come to your country. Is your country popular? Do a lot of tourists like coming to your country? And obviously, you should explain why. Now, you can answer this question by saying, yes, my country is an extremely popular destination with tourists due to our unique culture, landscape, and sunny weather throughout the year. Yes, my country is an extremely popular destination with tourists due to our unique culture, landscape, and sunny weather throughout the year. Now, in that answer, I have confirmed that Yes, my country is an extremely popular destination with tourists. And then I gave some reasons. I introduced the reasons using the linking word due to. And the first reason is that we have a unique culture. The second one is the landscape. And the third reason as to why my country is an extremely popular destination with tourists is because of the sunny weather throughout the year. So in that answer, I have provided some reasons as to why my country is, a pop is popular with tourists. And I joined all my reasons together using linking words due to. Due to means because. Due to means because. It's a linking word that means because. Now, let's move on to question three. Why has tourism become so popular nowadays? Why has tourism become so popular nowadays? In that question, the examiner wants you to give some reasons to explain why these days Tourism is so popular. Why are people these days traveling to other countries on holidays as tourists? Now you can answer that question by saying, Tourism has become very popular nowadays as a result of the internet, which has made it easier to search for your favorite destination find and book suitable accommodation after reading reviews online. Tourism has become very popular nowadays as a result of the internet, which has made it easier to search for your favorite destination, find and book suitable accommodation after reading reviews online. Now, in that answer, I have given the examiner a number of reasons as to why tourism has become very popular nowadays. This is because, so instead of using because, tourism has become very popular nowadays because I have used the linking word as a result of. The linking word as a result of and due to and because mean the same because due to as a result of those three linking words mean the same so you don't want to be repeating them if you're aiming for a high band you don't want to keep repeating because so instead you can use due to or you can use as a result of the three of them are synonyms of each other because due to as a result of so the reasons as which i have given in that answer as to why tourism has become so popular is because first of all of the internet it has made it easier 
for people to search for their favorite destination, find and book suitable accommodation, that is where you're going to stay, after reading reviews online. And that has made tourism very popular because if you want to travel somewhere on holiday, all you have to do is go online and Google different uh, tourist destination and you will find your favorite and then you can also search for um, suitable accommodation suitable means appropriate the sort of accommodation that you want for example that suits your budget how much money you have and how many people will be traveling maybe you want um, a two-bedroom apartment maybe you want to stay in a hotel you can book suitable accommodation after reading reviews online. So join your ideas together using linking words. In my case, I have used as a result of and I have used and. Let's move on to question four. What attractions are popular with tourists? What attractions are popular with tourists? In this question, the examiner wants you to uh, identify um, what sort of tourist attractions um, are very popular with tourists. What sort of things do tourists like to see when they travel to different countries on holiday? What sort of things do they like to see? That is what the question is asking you. Now you can answer this question by saying, in general, Tourists are attracted by historical monuments, museums, art galleries, landmarks, for, for instance, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, as well as a rich cultural experience. In general, tourists are attracted by historical monuments, museums, art galleries, landmarks, for instance, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, as well as a rich cultural experience. Now, in that answer, I have identified a number of tourist attractions. Historical monuments, museums, art galleries, landmarks for instance for instance is a linking word that means for example for example the eiffel tower in paris as well as a rich cultural experience now li uh, the linking word for instance like I've said, it means, for example, and the linking words as well as means the same as and. So if you don't want to use and, you can use as well as. If you don't want to use, for example, you can use for instance. Now let's move on to question five. What challenges do tourists face in foreign countries? What challenges do tourists face in foreign countries? In this question, the examiner wants you to identify some problems that tourists um, encounter or face when they travel um, on holidays in foreign countries. What problems do they face? Now you can answer that question by saying tourists face problems such as language barrier, harassment by hawkers, mugging, and theft, theft of their personal belongings, for example, jewelry. Tourists face problems such as language barrier, harassment by hawkers, mugging, and theft of their personal belongings, for example, jewelry. Now, 
In that answer, I have identified some challenges or some problems that tourists face in foreign countries. They face problems such as, now such as means for example. If you don't want to use for example, you can use such as or you can use for instance. So they face problems such as language barrier. Language barrier means when you travel to a country and they speak a language that you do not speak. For example, if you travel to France and you don't speak any French, then you might have a few problems as a tourist because you would need someone to translate. Another problem is harassment by hawkers. Hawkers are people who sell things on the street. Now they harass tourists. They keep calling them and they keep trying to sell these different things to them. And that is a form of um, harassment. That can be a real problem. Another problem is mugging. Now, mugging is when, for example, um, they, the tourist gets attacked. Okay, They may get attacked. Um, and the other problem is theft of their personal belongings. Sometimes when you travel as a tourist abroad, some of your belongings, for example, your jewelry, might get stolen. So I have identified a number of problems in that answer and I have used linking words to help me to join my reasons together. I have used the linking words such as and for example. So if you don't want to use for example you can use for instance. If you don't want to use because you can use due to. If you don't want to use and you can use as well as Okay, so I have tried to give you a number of synonyms. If you don't want to use as a result of, you can use due to. If you don't want to use due to, you can use because. So because, due to, as a result of, they all mean the same. For instance, for example, they mean, or for instance, for example, such as, they mean the same as well as and those two also mean the same if you're aiming for band nine bind eight then try and ensure that you don't keep repeating the same linking word you can use the synonyms that are there for um, the different synonyms okay so if you don't want to use because you can use due to if you don't want to use, for example, you can use for instance or you can use such as. If you don't want to use and, you can use as well as. If you don't want to use because, you can also use as a result of. Okay? Now, this brings me to the last section of this lesson where I'm going to give you some tips using the sample answers to ensure that you get a very high band for your eyelids speaking. Tip number one, make sure that you understand the question. In each question, listen very carefully to the key word. Which country would you like to visit as a tourist? The key word here is which. Make sure you understand the key word of the question. And then for each question, always answer the why part, whether you are asked or not. Okay, which country would you like to visit as a tourist? There is also the why part of the question. Is your country popular with tourists? Yes or no? And then you give your reasons. There's always the why part. The second tip that is really helpful is that um, for each question, make sure that you provide elaborate answers. Be detailed in your answers. And you can do that by giving um, examples by making sure that your answers are elaborate. Provide at least three to four ideas for each question. The next tip is join your ideas together using linking words. Try and avoid repeating the same linking word. I have given you the synonyms for the different linking words in this lesson. 
I said, for example, if you don't want to use because, you can use due to or you can use as a result of. So because, due to, as a result of, those three mean the same. If you don't want to use and, you can use as well as. If you don't want to use, for example, you don't want to repeat it again, you can use for instance. Okay? Now, the next tip that is extremely important is that you use the correct vocabulary for the topic that you're talking about. In this case, we're talking about tourism. I have underlined for you all the vocabulary that is suitable for talking about this topic if you're aiming for band 9. In sample answer 1, I underlined for you beautiful sandy beaches, a wide variety of tasty food, the locals, friendly, hospitable. In sample answer 2, we have unique culture, landscape, sunny weather. Sample answer 3, we have the internet, search, favorite destination, find, book, suitable accommodation, reading reviews online. In question, in sample answer 4, we have the words historical monuments, museums, art galleries, landmarks, the Eiffel Tower, a rich cultural experience, and in sample answer 5, we have language barrier, harassment, hawkers, mugging, theft, personal belongings, jewellery. So ensure that you use the correct vocabulary for the topic that you are discussing. The next thing that is extremely important is that you use a variety of sentence structures in your answers. Use simple, compound, and complex sentences. A simple sentence has one verb. A complex sentence, a compound sentence has two verbs, and a complex sentence has three or more verbs. Now, if you're aiming for a band eight or a band nine, then you should be using compound and complex sentences. Now, if, for example, you look at sample answer one, that is an example of a complex sentence because in a complex sentence you have two or more linking words. I would really like to visit Mauritius because they have beautiful sandy beaches, a wide variety of tasty food and I have heard that the locals are very friendly as well as hospitable. That is a complex sentence and so is sample answer two. Yes, my country is an extremely popular destination with tourists due to our new unique culture, landscape, and sunny weather throughout the year. And so is sample answer 3, 4, and 5, because this is a band 9 um, answer. Okay, so if you want to get a band 8 or a band 9, then you really need to be using a lot of complex sentences. And it's very simple to do that. You just need to join your ideas together using linking words. As you can see, I have put all the linking words for you in red. I have even given you synonyms of the linking words to ensure that you're not repeating the same linking word in every answer. And the final tip and the most important that is really going to determine the band you get is your grammar. Which tense are you supposed to use when you're giving your answers? All you have to do is listen to the question that the examiner is asking you. In this case, because it's eyelet speaking part one, you get the questions. So you can underline the verbs in each question to determine which tense you're supposed to use when you're giving your answers. Which country would you like to visit as a tourist? Now, in that case, the verb that the examiner has used is would like. So begin your answer with that same phrase. I would really like to visit, okay? Repeat the verb as it is in the question. 
is your country popular with tourists yes my country is an extremely popular destination and then give your reasons so ensure that you use the correct grammar you use the correct tense when you're giving your answers Make sure you have good subject verb agreements. Make sure that you use your prepositions correctly. Make sure you use your plural and your singular correctly. Okay. And if you're not confident uh, when it comes to your grammar, then feel free to have a look at my playlist. I have a playlist on grammar. I even have a playlist on the 13 tenses that we have in English. If you're not very good in tenses, then Use that playlist to strengthen your grammar because it's going to affect the band you're going to get in your IELTS speaking and in your IELTS writing of task one and task two. Now, this brings me to the end of this lesson. If you found this lesson helpful, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. I will be uploading more videos on um, IELTS speaking part one, part two and part three. But I will also be uploading a lot of videos on writing of task one and task two. So remember to turn your notification button on. But also share this video on all your social media platforms. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I promise you will not regret it because I upload really helpful videos. Now, thank you very much and see you in our next lesson. Bye bye.